with the family, hitting the ATV trails with friends, or blazing new stretches of highway with riding buddies. Your toys are your ticket to outdoor fun. At the McDonald Allstate Agency, we get to know you and help make sure you have all the right coverages. Plus, when you bundle your coverage for your car and your home with your boat, motorcycle, RV, or more, you can save up to 30%. So call the McDonald Allstate Agency today at 622-2333 or stop by one of our two Ocala locations at Cala Hills or the Jasmine Square Plaza. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. All right, 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, 63 degrees, by the way, here at the studios of The Source, WOCA. You know, we broadcast right outside the food court here at the mall. And uh, yeah. in that food court, we have a, a pizza restaurant. You know mm-hmm. that, right? There's a pizza. Oh, yeah. Do you call it a restaurant before. in the mall? Is it a, is it a restaurant or is it just a, a pizza stand? It's a pizza place. And, and by the way, pizza and massage are the only two places still called parlors. <laughs> Pizza parlors and massage parlors. What do we always yeah. say, Rob? Whenever we do something great, I said, you know what I want to celebrate with? What do we always celebrate with? A pizza. A pizza. Always celebrate with a pizza. All right. Yeah. So we're going to have a, a debate. We had a debate last night with the Democrats. We're going to have a debate about the best pizza in America. Okay. But but it's not my opinion. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the opinion of our guest and our boss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chef Craig, I don't even know. Is, is it pronounced Preby? Preby? Yeah. Uh, it is. Okay. Chef Craig Preby, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thank you for being on the air with us. Where are you right now? I'm in Chicago. In Chicago. Oh my gosh! You and (laughs) uh, Chicago and New York have this ongoing debate about who has the best pizza, don't you? Yes, for sure. (laughs) It's been that forever. And (laughs) I I think recently Forbes just said Chicago is the number one pizza. uh, Oh, okay. (laughs) Forbes is the go-to source. But but I mean, honestly, if you if I had two two pizzas with you and you were blindfolded or whatever, could you tell one from the other? One from New York, one from Chicago. Uh, yeah, I mean that—that's that would be easy. <laughs> that would be a real because they're both very different. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, Chicago style pizza. There's 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 a lot of pizzas here in Chicago, but primarily, the 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 Chicago style pizza is a deep dish pie. You know, oh. there's a thin crust Chicago style. That's an important thing too. But I could still tell the difference because a thin crust Chicago is still thicker than a New York pizza. Really? New York pizza is going to be super thin and has a great chewy rim, which a Chicago pie won't have either. It won't have that big chewy rim. Um, they're totally different from each other, but they're, you know, they're both fantastic in huh. their own right. You know? Now, I, I grew up in New York, and what I remember as a kid, they had the, the pizza that you're describing that is typically considered New York pizza, and then they had something called Sicilian pizza, which was thick. Was that, yeah. actu- was that actually Chicago pizza? No, no. See, Sicilian pizza is actually Sicilian pizza, and you'll find most of that on the on the northeast and on the east coast. Um, a lot of Sicilian style pies, you'll find them in Chicago, but probably in the in the bakeries, like in the Italian bakery, where they have that grandma style pie. The grandma style pie is a Sicilian pie. Now it's thick, but it should be light and fluffy, huh. almost like it's just filled with air. And on top is a very very light tomato sauce and a light cheese. And it's made early in the day, and you would they would sell it like in the old days, like in, in the early 1900s and before, they would be selling pizza about a slice. They would cut it off with scissors, and 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 that's what they do with the grandma pie. You go in there, oh really, the and grab a slice. Um, All right, so, so you, it's a really great tradition. Uh, chef, this is a fun conversation. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So you have a <laughs> book called The United States of Pizza. Yes, sir. The United States of Pizza. Okay. Now, what is the book about? Is it is it a picture well, book? About- <laughs> <laughs> I want to see pictures of pizza. <laughs> it is. It's filled with pictures. It's a beautiful <laughs> book. We have uh, like seventy five recipes from that I created, emulating the the best pizzas, the things I saw across the United States. In different regions, you see all kinds of different pizzas. Everywhere you go, someone has their twist on it. So I, I'm scoured the country from one side to the other and it's I've, I've been working on this for about five years on this book um, and well before that even because I've been into pizza for pretty much my whole life um, so I put a lot of knowledge a lot of research and a lot of interesting um, you know there's dough it, this book my United States of Pizza book is is created by chapters concerning the dough that's where I started first because oh really important thing each chapter there is a type of dough, and then there's pizzas in the chapter which will tell you, um, you know, where you find that pizza, and it's a travel log. You'll be able to go to these pizzerias, plus you have my, uh, my recipe, which is, uh, you know, it's 
they're very easy to follow, and you can create iconic pizzas from around the country in your oven at home. Okay, but let me ask you about that, because some people who are pizza aficionado. I feel like I am one. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I don't really know much about making them. But those who do say it's the stone, the pizza stone that makes a, a big difference. Is that true? That's, you know, it's not so true, I feel. I feel um, it's not the most necessary piece of pizza equipment. It can even out the heat in an oven a little bit when you have ovens that have hot spots. Uh-huh. But I don't think it's necessary because I don't use one. I use my, my oven is up to 500 degrees and I use a pizza screen. A pizza screen is a very thin mesh type uh, made from aluminum and it's, um, it's, it supports your pizza. You build your pizza on it. You can take your pizza around with you. To you get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can carry it with you. <laughs> this and is you can pop it in the oven and that dry heat that runs up through that pizza screen, that's what creates that crispy crust. Oh, man, I'm having peanut butter and jelly for lunch today. Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> you were um, awarded the best international pizza of the year title for one of your yes, recipes. I, I surely did. Uh, I used to own a pizzeria. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. I owned a I owned a grilled pizzeria. And back in those days, it was in 1998 I won that award. But I, I won it with my grilled pizza. And it's the most amazing pizza. I used to grill pizza for, before I started baking pizzas from across the U.S., I started with grilling pizza, which is probably the most ethereal, thinnest, wow. lightest crust. You can find that one. I have those recipes so, in my book called Grilled Pizzas in Pininas. So Johnny Carson once asked Frank Sinatra, who do you listen to? Implying that the best singer in the world couldn't possibly enjoy anybody right but, but i mean how do you actually go out i mean being the best pizza guy in the in the world how do you enjoy well, going out do, do you <laughs> it's really it's it's still a pleasure i love going to places and discovering what people are doing and how they're cooking and there's a couple places around the south this, around the city of chicago that i love since i'm here all the time i love pequod's it's so cool it's so charred it's so great and it's also i love vic and Nito's. I mean, Vito and Nick's, and that is an incredible, thin Chicago-style crust. <laughs> Gotta go to Chicago. Uh, All right, let me I ask you. I, I have to... I love- I have to yeah. interject something from my boss. Yeah. One, one, one of the owners of the radio station, Joe, and our listeners know Joe very well, he swears up and down the best pizza in the whole world <laughs> is in... Is it Hartford, Connecticut? Yes. It's a place called Pepe's. Have you heard... Is it on your list? Pepe's. Yeah, it's in the book. It's in the book. Wow. Absolutely. It's iconic. <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> so, so is that considered Connecticut pizza, or what is that considered? So that's, that's considered New Haven-style pizza. New Haven. And that's that's, a, that's a, own style. Uh, it's, simple, it's a simple pizza, and it's really based off of a Naples-style crust. And a Naples style is the dough that has a, a, a um, double O flour in it. It's real silky and smooth. And it's created with um, two ferments. You're going to ferment it, and then you're going to ferment it again. It's very simple, but it creates the special kind of dough that they use over in that area. And so that, that's one of the things that they do that create that special signature pie. Um, it's called a New Haven style. Do you know what, you know what I don't like? I don't like going to a pizza place that does not sell it by the slice. I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a niche. You know, that's what people have been doing. It's been that's tradition to uh, to cut off a pizza and sell it. Um, that's they've been doing that since the 1500s in Italy. Yeah, I love that. They were selling pizza like that. That's the first way we sold pizza. Well, when I was a kid, that's the only way I could afford it. And how? Why would I buy yeah. a whole pizza when I was a kid? You know, you right, right. yeah. Uh, you you have a, a pizza that you mentioned, a red onion, rosemary, and pistachio pie. Really? That's from Arizona. That's uh, mm-hmm. Chris Bian- yeah, Bianco's place. Um, it's called um, Bianca's, and it's, it's a killer place in, in um, Arizona where the guy was, you know, he was really just a kid when he started his pizzeria uh, in a closet, basically, just a tiny little room. And... Um, he was a teenager, and then now he's he's been there for a long time, and he's just an iconic pizzeria man. Uh, it's really he's he's been turning people on for a long time. He's definitely a, a trendsetter. I can't wait to see the book. It's called The United <laughs> States of Pizza, America's Favorite Pizzas, and Joe will be happy to know that Pepe's is in there. Yes. Is, any any pizza places from Ocala, the city you're talking to right now? No, I wish I. You know, I'm going to have to make it down there. I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, let me, let me tell you I something. Went to Miami, I went there first. We, <laughs> we have to come back to Ocala. We Miami. do. We do have a couple that are, that might make Not you. Uh, 
say, hey, these guys make pretty good pizza. I yeah. Don't, I don't know. You know you'll find great pizza in the, everywhere in the tiniest corners. And like in Wyoming, you've got this amazing pizzeria called Lusk. And, uh, you know, it's in the middle of a town where it has 300 people in this town. Really? So I agree, you, I agree you can find fantastic pizza anywhere in the United States. Well, if you're coming to a town, remember know. the name Loritos. Yes, Loritos. that is the Loritos. best. Write that down. Just remember that if you're in a town. Not to say the others aren't any good because there are some good ones here. Mm-hmm. But that cool. is, that's usually my choice. Al from Abio's, he closed, so he can't go. He used to make good pizza too, mm-hmm. but he's closed. But Loritos has been here for like 50 years. Uh, yeah, sh- that, that stands the test of time. Good stuff. <sighs> can, you think I can postpone my peanut butter and jelly for tomorrow? I'll do the pizza today. Okay. You better go down to Loritos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chef Craig Creeby, thank you so much for being on the air. Good luck with the book. And uh, how do we get it? I guess I should ask you that. Well, you can buy books. You can buy this United States of Pizza wherever books are sold. I like to uh, tell people to go to Amazon because that's the easiest way. You can go to my website at craigcreeby.com. You can purchase the book there. You can purchase it in any bookstore that sells books. All right. And uh, October is National Pizza Month for anybody that wants yeah. to. Yeah. Know, so. Well, that's, <laughs> what am I waiting right. for? Yeah. We're halfway through the month. I haven't had a pizza yet this month. Oh, no. <laughs> that's you better hurry. That was so much more fun than talking about the debates, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. That was such a drag. Chef <laughs> Preby, th- <laughs> thank you so much. That was fun. That's All right. Thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> if you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy, never being in the mood, and when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results, and all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me...